Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how to view information on your computer in a Windows operating system and do it with standard system utilities or third-party programs. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. If you need to find the information on your computer's configuration, operating system, installed drivers and modules it can support, for example, the name of your network interface card, graphics card or sound card, the version of BIOS or UFI, the version of DirectX your computer is using, or the model of your motherboard, this video will be useful for you. So, let's begin. If you want to see basic information about your computer, open Settings, System, and then find the line About below. In the window that opens, have a look on the right to see three sections containing certain data. The first one shows how your PC is protected in real-time mode. The next section gives you basic information on the computer's configuration, processor model, the amount of system memory, product and device identifiers, and the system type. That is if it is a 32-bit system or 64-bit system. The last section, characterizing Windows, shows the name, version, installation date of your operating system as well as the build number. Below you will see three links. The first – change product key or upgrade your additional Windows. It lets you change the product key and read more about product activation. The two other lines uh, let you read the Microsoft Service Agreement and the Microsoft Software License Terms. When you click on System, a window will appear containing system information. The System app dates back to Windows XP. It can show you more detailed data on the system and the hardware components. To open it, press the key shortcut Windows plus R and type msinfo32 in the window that appears. You will see more info, and it's more detailed. As you can see, it shows your operating system manufacturer, detailed information on the hardware configuration, BIOS version, motherboard model, system memory, and so on. If you expand the tabs on the left, you'll be able to use all functions of this utility. Well, probably all this data is most useful for software developers and system administrators only, but at the same time it contains almost all the necessary information to know about your system. This is where you can see everything you need to know about the PC you're using. I mean, for example, in the Components section expand Network and then click on Adapter to see comprehensive information on this device name and model of the network card, manufacturer name, driver version, current status, and all related settings applied at the moment. You can export all this data into a text file by clicking on a corresponding item, then File, choose Export, select the folder and file name, then click Save. This option is very useful when you need to send your system data or information about the errors you are facing to another user or to a support help desk or if you just want to save a copy of your system configuration and settings, just to be on the safe side. Now, at any time you can open this file and view all data and settings you are interested in. If your Windows fails to boot normally, you can use the command prompt to view the system information. And if your operating system fails to boot and you need to recover important data from the hard disk, Watch a video in our channel on how to do it, find the link in the description, as usual. Meanwhile, run the command prompt and go to the directory where this program is located. Type, then follow it with the command system info. After the analysis, the utility will show the information on the system build number and version, processor, BIOS version, boot drive, and network.
One way to get some information on your PC is by using Device Manager. It's the only tool to manage drivers for every device within the computer and handle the resources allocated for them, such as interrupt requests, DMA channels, memory areas, input and output ports. It also gives you more extra information. You can open it by right-clicking on the Start menu and selecting it from the list, or by right-clicking on this PC and selecting Manage from the menu. In the window that opens, you can see all devices installed for this computer. Then go to any line you are interested in, for example processors, and open it. You will see the window with properties of this hardware and the tab General above containing general information. In the Driver tab, you will find information on the device driver and the options to update or rollback the driver, disable the device or uninstall the device. Two other tabs show the details and events related to operation of this device. If you want to know, for example, the version of DirectX, which is a special set of ready graphical elements, procedures and functions that Windows operating system provides for use by external programs, the easiest way is to press the key shortcut Windows plus R and type the command dxdiag. As a result, the DirectX diagnostic tool will start. In the first tab, you will see some data on your PC and the information on DirectX version. You will also see the data on the system, display, sound devices and input devices. There are also lots of other utilities to give you more detailed info on your computer. One of those worth mentioning is AIDA64, and you will find the download link in the description as usual. This utility will help you to test and identify all devices connected to your PC, provide detailed information on the hardware and software components, and much more. This is where you can see almost everything about your computer, from hardware to software details. When you open Computer – Summary, the entire information will be shown. Computer type, operating system, computer name, motherboard name, video adapter, sound equipment, data storage devices, network, peripheral and input devices. For more details, open the tab you are interested in. In the Sensor tab, you can see the temperature of your processor, video adapter and hard disk, their voltage and power they are using. In the Benchmark test, you can check your system memory and processor. And that is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.